is racism creating inequality? Racism is affecting people of diverse races negatively and causing inequality. Historical lens and the stimulus packet. While reading the stimulus packet, I found passages that led me to my claim because they talked about how during the civil rights movement, there was so much racism, which led to large inequality in the communities that African Americans lived in. In Martin Luther King's junior from letter, letter from Birmingham Jail, he talks about the civil rights movement and how things were very difficult for them. In the passage, it states, there have been more unsolved bombings of Negro homes and churches in Birmingham than in any other nation. It is talking about how there was so much racism that it led to the destruction of the homes and places of worship of the African Americans. In the song, Blowing in the Wind by Bob Dylan, he talks about the inequality created by racist people around them. It talks about, it says, how many roads must a man walk down before you call him a man? It's talking about how there was so much inequality that they weren't even considered humans, they were more like property. And this is a picture from the 16th Street uh, Baptist Church bombing. And that's an example of one of the things that happened during the Civil Rights Movement. And there was so much inequality and racism that it led to this event. The moral and ethical lens. In the video, Racism, Abuse, and Feeling, it talks about how in the modeling industry, African American models are treated poorly and differently just because of their race. In the video, one of the models states, there are about two spots in a show for black girls out of 50. That is showing that there isn't a lot of job opportunities for those African American models just because of their race and it's very unequal. Another model states, the conventional ideal of a beautiful woman is a thin white woman, which is showing that African American women and people of different races aren't technically considered beautiful according to standards. It's similar to the civil rights movement because they talk about how there's discrimination and it leads to the large amounts of inequality in the environments around them. This graph shows the difference in the income of the people of different races. The dotted line is white non-Hispanic, the blue is Hispanic, and the gray is black non-Hispanic. And you can see there's a very big difference in the income amounts, just because they're doing the same job, but they're doing different pay because they have a different race. There are many solutions to this issue. Some are creating hate crime laws. On this graph, it shows that the race, racial um, hate crimes is the largest leading cause to hate crimes and violence. An implication to this is creating a petition to try and get these laws. A limitation is people are gonna think that you're taking your First Amendment right of speech away. Another solution is making schools more strict. An implication of this is regulating what kids say to one another during school hours. A limitation is it's hard to control what kids say to each other out of school and in private. Another solution is creating equal income. An implication of this is creating more job opportunities with equal pay and less racism in their work environments. A limitation is people are going to have to accept that there is racism in the work environments. In conclusion, there has been inequality because of racism in the world for years and it affects people of different races negatively. Yes. Okay. Okay. okay, a couple of questions for you, Lily. Uh, the first one is, what evidence did you gather that you didn't use and why did you choose not to use it? Um, I gathered some evidence for um, the mental health of youth and how racism is affecting that, but it doesn't really show how it's unequal and how it shows that there is inequality in the environments that they live in. Okay, and then your second question, um, what might be the real world implications or consequences of your findings? And then what are the implications to your community? It is really impacting the people in the workplaces because they don't get equal pay and they don't get the same job opportunities as people of different races. And it's really affecting, even now and in the past, what opportunities they have. And then anything you can think of how it impacts like our community specifically? Um, it, it impacts our community because 
we, there's a lot of teenagers, obviously, at Oak Hills, and we're starting to get jobs, and as we go into the real world, people are going to start to realize that they can't get the same opportunities just because of their race, and it's going to really impact their lives and their future.